Uh, yeah. So I'm you're a, more about natural remedy, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually I have Lyme disease. I don't know if y'all know what Lyme disease is. Oh wow. Yeah. No. So I had it for two. I mean, I had it bad for. Like, technically, you don't. It doesn't leave your system. It can go dormant or whatever. But I had it for two years, bad. It took me out, and that's actually what uh, is actually what brought me to Christ in the in the in the first place. Mm-hmm. Um, I was going going through that. Long story short, on that, I I, I ran into somebody at a restaurant. And I was like, yeah, I got Lyme disease, you know, all these symptoms, crazy. He was like, you've been praying about it? And I was like, no. <laughs> and then next week I'm in church with him, you know, six months later I'm baptized. And then I'm going wow. on a mission trip and I'm wow. leading young life. And um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of my journey from from being saved. So. But anyway, I had um, Lyme disease and then they want to put me on 15 months of oral antibiotics or months. seven months of IV antibiotic three times a day would keep a stint in my arm. Wow. I turned that stuff down. I Well, I technically tried the oral antibiotics for like two weeks. I mean, it's like pill after pill, like 15 pills a day, all antibiotics, like just killing your gut. Um, so I'd stopped and I did, I changed my diet. I ate mostly organic. I still eat healthy, you know, to this day. Uh, nice. Mostly organic sauna you know sweat out the the stuff that my immune system is is killing off and getting in there um i messed with essential oils for a bit i mean really just like anything that was not medicine like Mm, western medicine yeah i was given a shot i was doing yoga and, and all of it i'm sure played a part even if it was uh what do you call it placebo even if it was placebo, it all helped in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 How was that when you first found out that you had Lyme disease? Were you like searching all over? Like, what What do I have? Yeah. No. <laughs> Am I going to be okay? Like panicking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So I before and then now I'm kind of back to it. I always used to be like, uh, not worry about nothing, you know, go with the flow type, type of dude. And, you know, I don't think overthink too many things. And then, uh, started getting symptoms and i think the doctor said they think it was in me for a long time and then i had a like emotional stressor and that it like you know flared mm-hmm. it up or whatever um so i was yeah i was scouring the internet because the doctor the one doctor told me i need to see a psychiatrist thought i was crazy and then uh that's why i'm not really a fan of doctors mm. you know, they, they cool they cool you know what i mean yeah cool. yeah yeah I feel you. but not for me so, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I went and I basically diagnosed my, myself. I went to the ER. I was having like where every time I close my eyes, I feel like I'm falling. Uh, oh wow! Like legit, like can so I, I couldn't sleep. And then I uh, that was what took me to the ER the first time, and then uh, the second time was something else. But basically, the second time I went, I, I said to him, I "said I think I have Lyme disease because I'm scouring the internet." And he's like, "I don't think you have Lyme disease, but I'll test you for it." And then preliminary results come back positive for Lyme disease. And that's, <laughs> that's, that started that whole journey. You should wow. just get your doctorate degree, right? <laughs> right. Somebody <laughs> told me today, and, uh, you know, I don't want to make any doctors feel bad, but they were like, what do you call somebody that graduates at, like, the bottom of, I don't know, it was like medical school or something, a doctor. Is it, it was like a doctor, and he could be yours. <laughs> but, you know, they're like weathermen. They just, they just <laughs> guess like, yo, it might there, be right. <laughs> there are good doctors. Yeah, that's. I think a lot of them go in it for the for the paycheck. Yeah, yeah but you, you know what it is too. They have a they have like a set of things that they have to go through first. Yeah, that's what and and they don't really look into other factors. That's Me and my I mean. wife were talking about this. Like, um, you know, she's had a couple miscarriages. Um, you know, and thank God we do have our children. Mm-hmm. But you know, we've been trying to we've been trying again, you know what I mean? And she's she's fertile enough to have a child, but to carry it full term has been kind of difficult. Mm-hmm. So she's been looking more into the holistic stuff and dieting and all those other yeah. things because they're just like a little ah, you know, yeah, it could be this, it could be that. Like they don't give a direct answer. Yeah. And she's like, All right, you know, and then she's reading online, same thing like you, Nick, where she's reading and she's like Oh, I found this lady who taking acupuncture and mm-hmm. doing this and all these different things. And you know what I mean? So yeah, you know, with God's grace and you know, hopefully it work it works out. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Um, so, so I'm not too familiar with what Lyme disease is, but can you explain? Yeah, they, you know, what, what it is. Yeah, they call it the gray imitator. Um, they kind of another thing that could be called the gray imitator is syphilis. They both have similar like symptoms, uh, and basically, it can do whatever it wants. It mm. can, it, it, it like for me specifically, it affected my brain. It got into my neurological stuff, affected my brain. I didn't have too much like. The most people get with Lyme disease, like majority of people, they get joint pain and fatigue. And then they take 30 days of antibiotics and pretty much most of them are good after that. But if it's chronic Lyme disease, which is what I have, which a lot of other people have as well, um, then it can do whatever it wants. It can affect your your digestive system. It can do the, the you know, like how I had the, um, the vertigo and like memory loss and anxiety and... Um, it can still, yeah, the joint pain and the fatigue, and uh, I was slurring my words, and like um, it was like a, it was a, it was a really weird, but I think like humbling season for me because I always mm-hmm. felt I was invincible, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and then then brought me back down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so rich. That's wow, nice. man. So what yeah, you, um, what you take to hear about goals. that holistic life? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, so what do you take? Like <clears throat> since you don't like taking medicines, do you do you do like see like me? Like I said, I have the elderberry, right? Yeah. And I I put sea moss in here with mm. my feet, and I drink it like that. So yeah, yeah, I'm I'm same boat. I'm same boat. I'm really the. The most I would take if I really need, like I got a high fever or something, I'll I'll take a a fever reducer. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. for the for the stuff like I am, I'm on some tea. I'm um, just I'm resting. You know, uh, I'm drinking a lot of water, a lot of like a lot of water. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because you go in the doctor, man, they, they really just guessing. They just they on a whim. They got like muscle memory and protocol, and then yeah. none of, none of it has to do with you. You know. Yeah. Right. Like, do you have this? Nope. You got that? Nope. Yeah. All right. Well, you man. got this then. I'm like, man. They, they, yeah, on, yeah, the yeah. Way, on the way to your waiting, like your, your waiting room, they skim through your chart. That's yeah. as much as they do right. to pay attention to what's going on with you. you right. Know? Yeah. They'll be like, oh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. <laughs> yeah. They're like, uh, <laughs> I know how my body feels, you know. Yeah, like I, I don't want to be here in the first place. Like, right. <laughs> exactly. Yo, so and how, how, where'd you find the uh, to like put sea moss in your in your tea or whatever? Or like, uh, what sea moss, research? you can get it from like, um, like the health food shops. Um, there's a sh- right. different ones. I mean, yeah, but where where did you find out that that's like beneficial for you? Oh, um. My brother, my brother uses it a lot. He told me about it. I got a couple okay. of friends that they've been heavy on it. Okay. So I was like, let me try it. Especially like when all this whole COVID thing popped off. Um, I was like, let me get, I'm, I'm going to make sure I keep it going now and, and stay on top of my immune system. So um, I've been using that. And my brother actually, him and my father, my father just recently had um, COVID and dude, if my father can make it through COVID, anybody can make it through COVID. Because you know? that dude does not eat healthy. All he does is drink beer all day. And he made it out. Right. So he, he said COVID can't even survive in there. Right. Probably not. Right. <laughs> so when as soon as he had tested positive, my brother went and made him some shakes with the sea moss, gave him some black seed oil, some oil of oregano. And was giving it to him three times a day, and three days he was done. Um, he, he, yeah, he was good to go. He said he felt great after that third day. So cool. you mentioned that oregano, and that's that's a natural antibiotic. That's one that I did for Lyme disease too. Yeah, see, and I I, I take that as well. So you're talking take, about oregano, oregano, like oil of oregano. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So I take that, I give it to my wife. We'll take it in the morning, in the evening. Um, the sea like I said, the black seed oil as well. Mm-hmm. And just try to keep it like that, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. I see, I see um, y- y'all know Styles P from the locks. Yeah. 
Um, he has a pharmacy. Right? Yeah, he has a pharmacy and he has a uh, uh, CMOS. He has a bunch of stuff that he prescribes. And he tells you like the benefits, like he'll put it up on IG. You know, this is good for this and that. And I'll be like, oh, that's dope. I yeah. think the most I dealt with like el- elderberry, but I'm I'm same way. Like if I get a headache or anything, I don't, I'm not taking pills. I'm not doing anything. I'd rather drink Limpton soup, sip some water. And then well, my immune, thank God, has been uh, my immune system. Thank God has been pretty good. Like I don't I rarely get colds and flu yeah. or anything like that. So That's yeah, dope. Kim Kim on YouTube says I contracted Lyme disease Damn. when I was seven months pregnant. Wow, wow, she's all right. Kim, you got to type if you're all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a cliffhanger, Kim. Yeah, right. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony says, "Do you contract the disease from a tick?" I I did, yeah. That's how most people get it, yeah. From hiking, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm always in the mountains. Yeah, I'm also wow. I'm also a photographer and a cinematographer i have a, a media company that has been the main source of income for my family for 10 years now and mm-hmm. i i go into mountains a lot for photo shoots and just in general anyway i love being up there so yeah i was gonna say that i was like dude every time i see you, you're in the woods yeah i love it i love it yeah i yeah. prefer i prefer mountain over beach really wow. yeah wow. wow what about y'all would y'all prefer the beach the beach but i'm going to the mountains this weekend come on tennessee or what Nah, it's here in Georgia, Helen. Okay. But it's beautiful, man. What you doing? Hiking? Huh? You hiking? Nah, I'm not hiking. I'm just going to the cabin up there. Oh, okay. Go chill with the family. Nice. Sleep yeah, outside um... one night. Sleep outside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one step at a time, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a city dude, man. He ain't trying to he ain't trying to <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not gonna front I went uh for the first time to Utah. Um, yeah. and we went down to, uh, damn, I forgot that famous mountain, but Angels Landing, like all around there. Um, and that was the first time I ever hiked and, you know, being a mountain, it's beautiful, but it's not for me. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, but cool. Yeah. I hate bugs. So me too. I'm nice. like, ah, I'm like, I'm not scared of them, but I just hate them. So I mean, it seemed like you're scared. <laughs> 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 like if we go skiing, I'm down for skiing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't even. Yeah, I'm not really a a skier. I can. I'm fine. I can. But yeah, I love right. skiing. Like that's fun to me. All right, Sonny Bono. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 Kim Thomas. She she replied. Yeah. Oh yeah. She replied. She, she yeah. said, "Yeah, I'm okay, and my baby's good, great. Good, thank good, God. Good, good, good. Wow. Awesome. Praise God. Yeah. God is good, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. 